airlines are expected to report record profits from 2015. Delta Tuesday revealed a huge fourth quarter. Pre-tax earnings surged 42 percent from 2014, and that's due in large part to a 40 percent drop in fuel costs. Chris Van Cleve is at Reagan National Airport with why travelers are not getting any breaks on airfares. Chris, good morning. Good morning. It's a great day to fly if you're an airline. Fuel is cheap, and that's not the only reason they're cashing in big time. But if you talk to flyers, you hear a lot of frustration. All these fees uh, get tacked on after the price that's advertised. I would like for them to pass the savings back on to the customer. Despite the industry ranking near the bottom when it comes to customer satisfaction, U.S. airlines are having no problem finding customers. In just the first three quarters of last year, they made almost 18 billion in profit. And during that time, were on pace to pass 2014's record of $3.5 billion in bag fees. Their planes flew 85% full on average, and the steep drop in oil prices helped fuel the big profits. Tuesday, Delta reported a record fourth quarter, an annual income of $5.9 billion. While just days earlier, Delta and four other carriers raised fares. Given the price of gas, I don't understand why the price of airfares is so high. United Airlines will soon bring back free snacks to coach passengers. But as far as perks for most flyers, they're limited. Want a meal like the ones enjoyed for free in first class? You'll have to pay up. One of the big complaints from passengers online? Leg room, or the lack of it. Want more space? You still have to pay for that, too. I think it's very hard for passengers to understand why fares aren't going down when airlines are making so much money. But they have to remember that airlines are a business, and the bottom line is the bottom line. The airline business is boom and bust. Since 1990, the industry has landed in the red 11 times. In 2005, it lost nearly $29 billion. What's good news for consumers is when airlines are profitable, customers, communities, and investors, and employees win because they're reinvesting that money back into the business. Now, the airlines say they created 10,000 new jobs and on average took possession of one new airplane a day last year. They also say airfares dropped by about 3% in 2015. Gail? All right, got it, Chris. Thank you.